Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the thermometer on our Casio G-Shock GW9500 watch. We're gonna look at the temperature and I'm also gonna show you how you can change your temperature unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit. First and foremost, your sensor for this watch is on the left-hand side. Uh, if you wanna get a really accurate temperature reading, they recommend that you take the watch off of your wrist, let it sit away from your body for a few minutes and then check your temperature. When it's on the wrist, your body heat can skew the temperature a little bit. And that's pretty much the same with any watch that has a thermometer sensor, even if it's Garmin or a different brand, uh, Casio, whatever. The way you're gonna get to your temperature value is you have to go into your barometer mode. It is the middle button on the right-hand side of the watch. Unfortunately, this watch will not let you keep the temperature value on your main timekeeping screen. I wish they would do that but you have to be in your barometer to see it. If you look down at the bottom here, you can see 68.8 degrees Fahrenheit is my temperature value. The weird thing about this watch is I don't know why they wrote the temperature value the way they do. To me, there's a big gap in that 68. It just looks a little odd in my opinion. But that is how you see your temperature value. I think you can stay in the barometer mode for 24 hours and then it will kick you out. I could be wrong about that. I've yet to try you can stay in here for a pretty good while, but eventually it will kick you back to your main timekeeping screen. You'll notice mine's in Fahrenheit. If you wanna switch that, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and press the mode button. It's the bottom left button. That will take us out of our barometer mode, put us back in our main timekeeping mode. While we're in our timekeeping mode, if we need to change our temperature unit display, we're gonna press and hold the top left button, which is the adjust button. You have to be in your timekeeping mode in order to do this. It's going to drop you into your settings. You'll see this set blinking at the bottom, and then you should see your current home city cycling through up at the top. We're going to press the mode button several times. Each time we press it, it's going to take us to a different setting. The very last setting is the one that we need to get to. So one, looks like 12 presses of the mode button will take you to this screen, which is your units. You're gonna see a few different units uh, blinking here. The one that you're interested in is your temperature unit. It's down here at the bottom. You can see that mine is showing Fahrenheit. If you wanna change your temperature unit while you're on this screen and they're blinking, you're gonna press the compass button. You'll notice when I press compass, it toggles that value. So now it's showing Celsius. If I press compass again, it's showing Fahrenheit. I'll go ahead and switch my uh, temperature value to Celsius. Once you've got it set the way you want, you're simply gonna press the adjust button, top left button, two times. First time takes you to your latitude and longitude settings. The second time takes you out of your settings, confirms your changes, puts you back in your timekeeping mode. Now, if I press the barometer button, we can see my temperature, and now it's being displayed in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. Anyway, that's a quick look at the thermometer sensor on the watch as well as how to change your thermometer unit display. As always, I hope the video helps.